we see all of the existing, our existing social, complex social systems, organizations, institutions, etc., as um, as sharing the same uh, uh, two design flaws and and sharing the same major omission. <laughs> So essentially, all of these these social systems, I'm thinking governments, school institutions, uh, schools, uh, uh, healthcare, uh, agriculture, media, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they all, for the most part, tend to have a fairly narrow and myopic definition of success. And all too frequently, they define success as the accumulation of money, power, uh, uh, influence. That's that's one flaw. And the second major design flaw that almost all of them share is they're designed based upon control over people. Mm -hmm. now, it used to be the control measures were very, very harsh. And in some cases still are. But in, in every case, uh, for large systems at least, in almost every case, <laughs> uh, the basic molecule of design tends to be the supervisor-subordinate relationships, mm -hmm. the hierarchical relationship. So those are two, I think, potentially fatal flaws. And the big omission is almost none of these systems are designed to evolve themselves. And so we're deeply convinced that uh, it's these three design uh, inadequacies, it's immature of our design of our social systems that is at the root of essentially all the ills that we're seeing in the planet. Uh, to do something about that, we need to equip the leadership of those systems to transform them. Now, that's not an easy task because the leadership in all these systems are struggling just to maintain them in most cases. Just to you know, just to just to survive from day to day, quarter to quarter. Mm -hmm. And what we're saying is that there is a potential to radically transform all of these social systems.